Hi, we're starting off a little bit different tonight because I forgot to press the record button. I am profusely sorry and the beginning quality of this is going to be crap because I downloaded it from Facebook and because we have crap internet in Australia, we can only stream live in SD. So apologies, hopefully the sound quality is good for all you audio listeners and we love you and uh, here's the show. There it is. We're back. Hello. We're live. Whoa. Things are happening. We're on the NBN, so hopefully you can see us clearer and hear us better. But welcome to Trendsetters episode 64. Things are crazy. We almost hit 8 o'clock again, but we're late because we have a new screen. We have new technology we have to incorporate into us. And into we're, us. we're not the replicators. We can't do it instantly. Right? Into us. Now. It's as per usual. Yeah. There's group, group, group settings. settings. Uh, we have a guest this week. The wildcard for this week is um, interim Dr. David Tunnicliffe. Wow. Is that the right term? Soon to be Dr. Mm. Awaiting his I like to call myself the wild thing. What did you say about his room? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this channel's group settings, this is trend settings. So explicit. My movie. name is explicit. Ali. Jono. Uh, Dick. <laughs> Thanks for joining us live if you're here. Talk to us. We've got a new screen. I know you're super impressed. We're not coming through as clear as I would like, but I don't know if that's my internet or your internet, because live streaming is super complicated. That's really not ours. But we've got NBN. Thanks, man. We're on the NBN. How is the NBN? I've had it for a day, and you know what? It's kind of the same as my old internet. Mm-hmm. It's, not, it's actually a little bit slow. You do the tests, the upload's usually better. Yes, that is actually why I got it, so that we can live stream better. Are you, mm. are you fibre to the house? No. To the I think that's just one of those advertising campaigns that no one can actually get. My place is fiber to the house. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's new. Why don't you just... It, is it new? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're not all doctors. It's by the new house. <laughs> the house? With them. Not the house, but because they've mm-hmm. got new construction. New houses will get fiber to the house. Okay. <laughs> well, we've got four topics. It's week. good. I haven't had any problems with NBN. I'm the small uh, minority. Thanks for the report. Thank small what? <laughs> Minority. <laughs> You're a small minority. How's it feel to be a minority? How's it feel to be a small minority? <laughs> so I got four topics this week. <laughs> Lisa's not getting paid great, and we're angry about it. Or Lisa. are we? Uh, number two, space stars are colliding, and it's inventing things. It's crazy. Number three, mine hunters. Is it good or is it boring? Who knows? <laughs> number four, conspiracy theories about Trump and Melania. <laughs> It's not what it seems, guys. Mm. They're legit. Absolutely. Now, David Tunnicliffe. I'll, I'll take over now. Your wife's watching. Big so bitch. don't start She's up. not. She's not watching tonight. No, I just, just said Sarah Tunnicliffe joined. Oh, really? Yeah. She's, she's meant to be at the movies. Oh! She's doing the dodge. Oh, she's watching at the movies. Yeah. She better be good. I better be good. Am I better than the movies? She's ruining someone else's Hi, Sarah, how experience. Are you? So um, watch you. Enough yeah. with the shout-out. Tell us what's really going she on. She told me I had to shout-out, so I'm forced <laughs> contractual obligation as a wild card. Uh, so Lisa Wilkinson, who is uh, the star, was the star co-host oh. of the Today Show on Channel 9 with um, Carl Stefanovic. She has Carl. led this show with Carl for 10 years now. It was reported on Monday. Yeah, a long time. So on Monday, she did the show. And then Monday evening, she reported uh, on the, through social media channels, I believe, that she was that was her last show. She's not coming back. Well, so wow. it like was that. an immediate thing, obviously. So the what's being reported was that it was a pay dispute between what she was earning and <clears throat> and what Carl was being paid. So mm. six months ago, the talk was that she didn't. She mentioned on an interview that she had no idea what Carl was being paid and what she was being paid. Well, she know what she was being paid compared to Carl. Which is pretty normal in the industry, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. But, um, she, of course. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I said it. Um, so, apparently, and then that was leaked, that Carl was earning $2 million. I don't know when this was leaked or where it came out. Um, $2 million for his contribution to the Today Show. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, and other Channel things 9. as well. Channel 9. This so, is Channel 9 paid packet. Yeah. Including sixty minutes. Yeah, two point three something million. else. Oh, that's what else did he host? 
He has something else as well. He does, ah. he does some various things, but they're very, oh, you know, it's not very regular. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay. very infrequent. Right. And, and she was getting paid $1.1 million. Um, I don't know how long these these contracts are being on, how often they're renewed, etc. Mm. Um, well, I'd say Carl's was for three years and there's three two years. Million. So you imagine it's probably the same, similar to hers. Mm. But, but I think we're going to try and put him on some primetime TV show as well when yeah. he signed that, and I don't think it worked out. Yeah. But I'm he assuming was, his contract's still... Yeah, still he's, that. He's doing that other one, One Year Later show. Yeah. I've never seen it. Neither. <laughs> Post that one. We're probably not the best people to talk about this because we don't really watch this show. Like, that makes us normal. I watch a lot of Carl Stefanovic on YouTube doing funny things. Yeah, yeah, same. Like him interviewing the grumpy cat is one of the funniest videos on the internet. <laughs> Have you seen it? Just yeah. him laughing in general. Yeah, you should should watch keep that. talking. Okay. I'm going to put the visual on. Bring it up, please. I'll put my glasses on for that. No, keep talking. Um, keep talking. <clears throat> so it was reported that on the Monday night that she was leaving and she was going over to Channel 10 for a lucrative deal. Obviously, the Boom. salary has not been disclosed. Mm. Um, <clears throat> for, to go on the project, but she will remain in Sydney, so she'll only be like a, a guest or a panellist uh, frequently. She doesn't have to go to Melbourne, mm -hmm. and she they're still working out what she'll do at 10, so she'll do other things as well. well so she's going to do <laughs> two nights a yep. week on the project, yep. and then various other projects. TBD. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't really get how she fits into the project. I guess she has a big pull. Like, I don't yeah. really know who she is, but... With the me. panel changes every night, though, so she's yeah. just probably one of the rotating panel, right? Yeah. With, mm, yeah. It's Jeez. just that her... To the Today Show, that's an older demographic, because it's, like, the mm. morning. Mm. Who watches TV in the morning? Mm. A problem. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, yeah, so that's... And the project is the exact opposite. Maybe that's the key. They're trying to get the older people. Ooh, <laughs> that's true. They've already got us the youngest. They won't watch Wally. So at the, but they will watch Lisa. <laughs> Shots fired. So the reason was so she went back. People. She went back to get a renew. You know, um, asked for pay parity, etc. Saying, "Look, yeah. I do the same job as Carl. I should be getting paid the same as Carl." This is the first I've heard this term. Um, is this is a common term. Parity. Yeah. Pay parity. Uh, parity. It's, parity. It's, it's not a joke. Parity is an English word. Parity. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, so that's the reason it's being reported why she left. Yeah, because um, they wouldn't like how much, and, and they offered her one point eight. That's pretty close. One point eight. It is pretty close. Oh, see, it's half a mil. Or... See the funny thing, I two, two point three. Yeah, two point three. I heard two. No, this is different. This is something that's being reported today from the Channel Nine CEO, Mark Hugh Marks Hugh, or something. What's Hugh saying? Wait, so you heard that Carl's getting Carl was two point three. Oh. Yeah, Carl's getting was being reported two. Is what I've heard. Yeah, that's and. Right. and <clears throat> The question is, I think, in the media industry and entertainment, it's quite different, right? So in our jobs that we work, if we work the same as another person, you'd expect to get paid the same. But I think, you know, equal work, equal pay, which we all stand, which we all agree on, I think, on this, this table. No. Um, but I think in this industry, it's about... I think Ali's serious, though. I, I think he is. We'll talk about that. Yeah. But in this industry, it's about star, you know, like your, your attraction. Mm -hmm. And for people who are casual observers... Mm. Um, like we are, all we know of this show is really Carl Stefanovic funny memes and gifts that end up on the internet. Yeah, yeah. So well, that's why for us, yeah. for us. But I think that's just a matter of opinion because if you think about the show demographic, as you were saying, probably it's older, not us. probably people who actually wake up and watch TV. Yeah, it's it's not us. probably women who actually are pregnant, have kids, True. have a lot of family responsibility, not into memes. Yeah, not into really memes. Oh, um, I don't know about that. So it could be argued that she was probably the star of the show, really. And he, yeah. he's been very, um, he's been, I don't want to say erratic at the moment, but he left his wife, which obviously hurts his appeal to families and um, people across Australia. Mm -hmm. And he has been missing from the show a lot. He's, he's dating a very young, very young girl. It's always a bit of a weird look. Um, so there is an argument that he isn't really the star of the show anymore. Mm. Um, and she was the consistent one who always did a job, was well-liked, particularly from the, the target audience. Yeah, let's just say it. Like, I actually haven't seen any funny videos from him in ages. Ages, yeah. Like, last year, it was all him, yeah. I feel. Mm. And even the year before that. Mm. Like, the thing where he caught the duck with the fish in the line. Yeah. And, like, there's just so many videos of him stuffing up, which mm. has been really funny. Mm. It's been a bit MIA. And... I think he's also been trying to be a bit more serious. Yeah. Like taking on some political 
Russian. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've seen some rants. Because they want him to take over the, the like the big night news show, right? Isn't that mm-hmm. kind of the, the prep, mm-hmm. the, like the steps or whatever? No, I think you wouldn't want to do rants if you're doing the news because the news person shouldn't be like editorial. If that makes sense. They usually split it along the lines of here's a news person who's going to tell you news, and here's an opinion person who's going to tell you opinion. Mm. My God, yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> I guess the question is. Because it's a different industry, I think, and it's hard to say, you know, equal work, equal pay, when there is this star attraction. I think the, you know, they're backed Carl Stefanovic. They think he's the star of the show. Mm. Um, and they may be wrong. They could be wrong but with this. It could just be like we were saying before, they wanted him to do prime mm. time, some big TV show. Yeah. The Today Show doesn't have that big a viewership. No. They're not paying this guy $2 million for a year, for three years, mm. just to do the Today Show. It's big though. Was it the, the end? morning TV is still big? Yeah. yeah, and it's super important. I like the advertising, the marketing. Yeah, but if you were setting the guy up for prime time, mm-hmm. that would be why you're paying right. two million dollars. Yeah. Right? yeah, investing. In yeah. yeah, but I think but also if that didn't work out. Maybe they're stuck with this contract that they wouldn't want to pay him two million dollars either. Yeah, and then the idea that they also have to pay his co-host awesome. the same would be like. <laughs> That I would imagine from a financial point of view that would be difficult for them. Yeah. But at the same time, they're co hosts on the same show. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing the same. Yes. Kind of, they're doing the same thing, but. One, one point, I think it's ridiculous amount of money they're earning for a job I don't think is incredibly hard. Um, but that's, an, that's another point. Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. Ooh. Bring it on, Carl. Um, <laughs> Carl and Dip host, host the morning <laughs> show or today show, whichever one it is. <laughs> But, Gunning uh, for his job, mate. You know, got a PhD. Now you think you own the TV. My opinion is on yeah. this whole thing is that I'm not. I don't quite understand why it's such a big deal. Yeah. Because you're in a job. You ask for more money. They say no. Mm. If they say no, you say okay. I'm going to go somewhere that will give me the what mm. I'm looking for. Mm. And then you go. That's what you do, right? Mm. True. Yeah, but there isn't a history of you being paid less yeah. than other people for yeah. doing the same role with the same level of experience. Yeah, I think I think we don't. None of us have the female perspective here and live, live that experience. Yeah. But this is definitely a thing that exists. This yeah, at the same time we should empathise and actually care. Definitely. Like you're saying, oh, if this was me, I mm. wouldn't. It wouldn't matter. But you wouldn't be thinking it's because you're a man. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's true. the implication here. Yeah, yeah. Is that so? Is that she left because she was? like disgusted or I think she left because she they weren't going to meet her demands yeah. and she this... wasn't going to take it because that would be like disrespectful yeah. to her I guess the ultimate annoyance with this whole story that mm-hmm. I've been finding is there actually isn't any great sources on it it's, yeah. it's like a hun- like it's like 90% hearsay yeah mm-hmm. it's, it's so annoying because everything you read on it you're like oh that sounds interesting and then it says sources say this sources say, say this and like an insider says this like it's I think it's pretty fair to say when, like, like the CEO of Channel 9. Yeah, that, that was an that actual person. And there's also a lot of stuff that's come out from other Channel 9 sources. Like you say, sources. Mm. But I think it's very intentional. So you can tell what message they're trying to portray. Yeah. And, like, what angle they're going for it. So their defense was, they were saying, one of them was, we'd have to fire 10 producers in order to pay her what she wanted to be paid. Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah, why would you balance her job against the producer's job, but not anyone else's? Is, yeah. Like he gets paid two point seven million a year. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's was like the worst. No, argument that's ever. a terrible <laughs> argument. Yeah. And if they were willing to pay him one, her one point eight, and I heard Carl was on two, not two point three, hmm. that's a difference of two hundred thousand. That's well, not ten producers. To get twenty thousand. They're not getting year. twenty thousand dollars a year. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Maybe the unpaid interns. We'd have to fire those unpaid <laughs> interns if she got paid equally. Then he's going to do all the work. Yeah. Carl. Carl can do it. Um, but I think the... So they came out today or yesterday saying Hugh Marks I don't know, released a statement, not spoke to Channel uh, the Daily Telegraph saying they offered her 1.8, but she declared she wanted 2.3. Mm. Um, okay. So I think what they've done is the messaging they're trying to send is that she was a bit of a diva. Yeah, I saw um, that. So I think I that. think they realise that this is a sorry. It's definitely not a, how it's getting picked up by the public, though, no. is it? Well, I think no. this has been such a bad PR thing for them, right? So yeah. people have seen this, particularly women have really empathised with yeah. it because it couldn't their have been a worse they have. time for their viewpoint either. Yeah. With all the 
Me Too. Awesome stuff going on with Me Too. Yeah, yeah that's right. It, it, back, it kind of builds on the back of all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's um, like the ultimate, probably week where people have been more for like women rights mm, kind of things. Mm. And then this happens like smack dab in the middle of it. Yeah. I think the whole diva thing is what I don't understand. Yeah. Because she's just doing her job. And if I was in a job and I wanted more money, I'd ask for more money. The Mm. thing they pointed out was there was some campaign to get her a Logie Award. Mm. And they were trying to portray her as like a self-promoter type thing. Like she wants to be a big personality and like she's pushing towards being like that. But she's on TV. That's her job. If it's okay for Carl to do it, I don't see why it's not okay for her to do that as well. And it's never really come across in her character. Look, I don't know her that well or anything much about her, but... It's not, really, it's not really reported that she's a diva any time before this. Do you know yeah, I mean? there's nothing yeah, really true. that's signified that she seemed quite consistent, does a job quite well, works quite hard. She People have opinions well in the lives. audience. You always want to hear them. Always. Yeah. Ev says, "I think there is also the duo partnership to take into consideration. Mm. How would he be without her? Would he still right be now. as good?" It's a fair point. It's a fair point. Mm. And. Nick Koo, with his great opinions as usual, mm-hmm. says, I have no sympathy for people haggling over $200,000 pay rise. Yeah. I'm actually kind of on his side with that one, though. I think we, we can't take the value of the money into it, though. Like, yeah. I think that's... Because we kind of get blinded yeah. by it. Like, yeah. well, it's a ridiculous amount of pay what they get paid. I think we all agree on that, but... I don't think you should have to... It's what resonates with people is the, the divide, mainly because of gender. And there yeah. is... You know, there's uh, researchers that do stuff that look at statistical models that adjust for all the variables and all the confounders and the only thing they can explain it is that it's discriminatory that yeah. you know that's only women get paid less you look at um, top CEOs or corporate companies and women CEOs and people in senior leadership get paid less yeah it's real and that's only because that information has to be shared to uh, shareholders as as dumb as this video is, yeah. it does kind of show the chemistry that they have. Yeah, yeah. Of that like part for the audio, she's putting a finger through a donut and he's sucking on her finger on the other side of the donut. <laughs> right. That's good that's TV. TV. <laughs> that's that's get, why the internet. Look at that! Years, they put <laughs> <they're> a <laughs> massive mustache. Oh, it's them. Okay. Guys, we got to get <laughs> some donuts. <laughs> that's got how a crazy we get idea. the views up. <laughs> that's that's weird. Um, um Evs. Ev's kind of right though, is it is it is definitely sexist to call her a diva because if it was yeah, the other definitely. way, Ev, the other way people yeah, would be like, yeah. you can't call a man. You no one would ever call a man a diva or he's a greedy yeah. pig. Yeah, yes, no, but no one's say saying that. No. Yeah, no, it's just a man being a man, yeah. getting what he deserves. Getting his he's money, being assertive. Yeah. That's what yeah. he's being. And and he actually kind of seems genuinely devastated about it. Like yeah. he seems to be kind of caught out of left field about it. Yeah, yeah. Which I think one thing that no one's really talking about that I think is an important point with this stuff is. These kind of negotiations are meant to be private for exactly this reason. Because no mm. matter what she gets, if she wins, she gets more money than everyone else on the project. Mm. That sucks for all the people on the project that she's about to go work with mm. who know exactly how much they're getting paid. She doesn't know how much they're getting paid. Mm. So they've got an advantage over them. It's like the... I don't want to make that analogy. It's super rude. And I'm trying to make a serious point. <laughs> <laughs> but... I was like... Th- go on. on that, if... So, like, say there is, there is like, evidence that there is this disparity mm. between genders. It's a lot easier to hide it if you're always keeping it secret. But... Like, I, you would kind of need to know this information in order to address it. But when it's in entertainment where it's almost like uh, athletics kind of trading, mm. like, the superstars Stars are going to be mean. worth more. Yeah, values can be a bit more. arbitrary in entertainment. Yes. You know, that's why... Perceived that, value... That's why the equality thing I don't think kind of works in this particular argument. I definitely think that there's a huge problem with gender pay, gender pay gap and just kind of perceiving perceiving female value as less. Mm-hmm. That's, that's definitely a problem. I'm not mm. saying that's not a problem. I just I feel like this might be one of the only times on TV where it would be what like do you mean? they would be uh, like because like I agree with you with most TV shows. Yeah, okay, it's really hard to say who's more valuable like, more now. valuable but from what dip was saying it was like it's pretty hard to argue that she's not in a yeah. duo on the today show and to have 900 she's worth half as much as yeah, carl is which that's ridiculous Nine hundred thousand. like they wouldn't have negotiated this at all mm. they would have kept it exactly as it was 1.1 1. 1 and 2 yeah. that's the way they valued them but there is no way that's an actual mm. like objective evaluation of how much they're actually worth <clears throat> and their contribution to that show like and like we're talking we're comparing the two to 1.8 yeah 
But if you want to talk about there being an actual disparity, you've got to compare the two to what she was getting paid before she called them out on it. Which is... Which is why I, everyone's getting paid unless they know. Yeah, so do you think everyone should know what everyone's getting paid? I think if there is a problem, we're not going to be able to address it if everything's, like, secret. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? And there clearly seems to be a problem. Like, I know lots of right-wing people want to argue against it. Like, yeah. they're kind of like people are like, oh, the feminists are the worst and they just hate men and all this mm. sort of stuff. Mm. And they'll argue to the end of the day about how the gender pay gap is because of women make different... They'll always make this argument. Women make different choices in the workplace because they want to have a family yeah. and they want to, like... Because they have kids and, like, this and then, like, the workplace shouldn't have to bear the cost of that and all yeah. that sort of stuff. So it's inevitable that they like they always come to the argument they they have different outcomes because they make different choices mm. but it seems like any kind of serious research into it usually finds that there is actually a gap yeah. it's even real. if you correct for it and, and it's not even like it's not a, just a female's choice to have a family do you know what mm. I mean? like it's it's a, it's a male and a female's partnership right yeah so <clears throat> it's and like men don't really have to bear the brunt of it because we can't breastfeed so we can't take mm. that maternity leave off and there's a problem because you look you look at women's superannuation when then they retire it's substantially less than what men have yeah because of these maternity leave and also they not you know they they look at graduates who come into jobs and they're paid four percent less if they're a female compared to a male and then that just mm. disparity grows when they move up the ranks yeah so i think uh, it has, maybe it's a government thing, but we need to provide more opportunity uh, and more allowances for women to be able to have families and also mm. to be supported in the workplace. Yes. Um, yeah. And that should be something that's policy, I think. Yeah. But it's interesting coming from our perspective, from the university mm. or from the government, like New South Wales Health, like I am, um, you, you're paid like your position is known and there's a pay grade associated with your position. No so way. it's a range, but you essentially, you know what someone's position, you know whereabouts they're paid. Yeah. Um, so there's just complete transparency where we're at. But So in a corporate sector, which I'm not involved in, uh, you know, there's there's no transparency there. It's a lot of privacy. And I think it helps foster, it's the question of where's this pay gap come from, really. Mm. It's probably historical that, senior management was you know traditionally all men probably still is all men and they favor other men who the guys who went to their school or you know part of the boys club and they get paid more and <clears throat> and i think that's a real problem so i think for me personally and people would find this contentious but i think transparency that is the best thing um that things are known and it's weird because culturally we're all very oh you know don't ask about someone's pay yeah mm. but I, I did a project in, in Bangladesh a couple of years, like maybe four years ago. I had a scholarship to go there. You can tell he's been there because he says it. You have to say it properly. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and it's weird because I, and there was another girl who was like half, uh, it was half Bengali and half French. And she lived in France and came over there and had a job there. And she was getting paid more than all the locals, right? Uh, and they were, and it was just, you know, oh, how much do you get paid? Like, that was just the first conversation they had. Mm. Ever. And it was just, they all openly spoke about their pay. Mm. Um, right. And I think it's just culturally, it was very different. Um, <clears throat> I think transparency would be good, but mm. I, th I think even better was transparency means you'd have to be more equal, right? Yeah. Which I guess is the idea. Yeah, I think so. Which I think anyone who wants to earn a lot of money is going to be against that. Yeah. Because, because it's not in their interest, right? Yeah. Because people are getting paid more for things maybe they shouldn't be getting... Especially those, people those who could make experience. those kind of changes, which is people in government who mm. all get paid different, right? Or do that's, they get paid That's more? already a problem, though. Like, mm. the, the ratio between the top paid people and... Comp so there's an index that rate, like, takes the ratio of, like, top paid people versus the bottom paid people within mm. companies, and that's yeah. at, like, the biggest gap it's been yeah. in, like, 80 years. Yeah. And so, so yeah, you can understand that. Like in general there is people getting paid crazy amounts of money that cannot be matched by the mm. amount of work that they're doing yeah it's for the business yeah and i think all the decision makers for the business they're the ones getting paid a lot and they don't really want to disclose well yeah and they're they the ones paid. who decide how much they get paid they get them well. bonuses so they feel it might create unrest in the business look and i don't work in business and mm. probably never will 
So you know. there is something to knowing so how, how much someone earns because there are malicious people who could buy you out in mm. certain kind of things when you have that much money on the table compared to other people. Yeah. Do, do you find? Does that make sense? Do you find in sports? so obviously that would never affect me mm. because I don't have that much money. Mm. But like you can kind of see why people who are so rich because they're always want to guard their riches, I guess. Yeah. But also there is a little bit of a logic to it. Yeah, I think the problem is also our culture is that our value comes from how much we earn mm. Mm. what our title is um, not really what your character is so. well, I guess where you were going like this tra- that transparency in sport yeah exactly sport does people. that prevent people in teams from working together because they were, they're playing literally with someone they know that guy just got transferred for 50 mm. million dollars I guess it's me. so much more honest sport mm. I guess like mm. everyone knows how much better they are than each other it's whereas you can't really quantify that yeah. in like normal life yeah. and yeah and even so like i don't think they care they're all well, getting paid yeah. in sport they're not Too paying much. for how much better someone is they're paying for how much bigger a draw it's actually exactly the same as entertainment yeah right because all that all sport is is entertainment like it's selling tickets and selling jerseys and stuff it's they art, pay lots Jono. they pay lots for people because they think they'll make them a lot of money and they'll yeah. and but that also is they'll win they'll win them games yes yeah. 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 skill games, definitely has a part more, in that. yeah you're more popular right which they're usually more popular because of the skill, right? They're good. Unless it's like a country thing, which is mm. different. No, I've seen people in cricket get paid a lot just because they're a big draw. Yeah, true. And like, it's like, they're definitely not worth that much anymore. Mm. But it, like a franchise in the IPL will pay crazy amounts of money for someone just because they have a big name. A big mm. name. You get bums on seats. They'll definitely be better players, but they're not well known. Mm. So they don't get paid as much. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um so this yeah. topic's been going for ages. We've, for ages. <laughs> We've been solving oh, world problems. Wait, um, you know, you guys know David Hughes, Husey. Yeah, yeah, Husey. Yeah, I saw something. He has about. a radio show. Mm. I can't remember the name. Oh, yeah, Ironically, I can't remember the name. It's of really the bad. Does, with, <laughs> does it with? But they they were discussing yeah. like de- their pay on mm. air. I think, That's and cool. he found out that he was she was getting paid more. Um, that he was getting paid more than her, and he voluntarily took a pay cut so mm. that she could get paid the same for like the rest of that pay. Mm. cycle Sweet. or whatever for the year it's probably easy when you're overpaid though yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> and, and when you're doing it live oh, on air I'm in going to have to buy public. one less Corvette <laughs> well I think you did, that, you did that I'm so shriveled do it on the spot <laughs> I Jono can, how much do you get paid mm-hmm. I'm going to say I'm going to pay you. not much damn it my <laughs> yeah cool alright there's a lot of layers to that one yes. but we need to move on what's next Harry?